So, John, another lively session here at the Tanker Shipping and Trade Conference and some very pointed questions. One of which I'd like to put to you is how realistic is the intention to remove the white, grey and black lists as has recently been announced? Um, well, it depends on what they're going to replace it with. I mean, I, th I think if, if they're going to remove all kind of uh, reference to a flag state, which up to now has been quite a good measure of for owners to choose a flag state because it provided a yardstick in the industry. Otherwise, everyone, it all looks like it's some amorphous mass. Um, and they're just going to um, detail the ships. So it's going to be like a watch list of ships. Um, to be honest, I don't really know how that's going to work. Another uh, pointed question that is being asked in industry circles is how owners and flag states can deal with what's being seen as unreasonable Chinese PSC deficiencies, which, again, the industry is seeing is not based on regulatory fact. Mm. I think, as we mentioned a little bit earlier on the panel, the, the, it's important to make the distinction between an inexperienced port state control and a corrupt port state control. With, the, with the, the Chinese port state control, I think up to now they're relatively inexperienced, but I think there are improvements uh, happening there. And we have a, a team in, in, uh, base, based, headed up in our Hong Kong office, so that if a vessel is detained in uh, a PRC port, then we can activate uh, uh, our inspectors in China to go on board the ship um, and to deal with the port state control so there is no misunderstanding. Quite sometimes there can be an, <coughs> a misunderstanding between a, a European senior officers <coughs> and the Chinese port state control. And, and some of that's a language issue, some of it is, is uh, not fully understanding what they want. But, you know, we, we see that the Chinese port state control are improving. What do flag states, registries such as yourself, need from recognised organisations going forward? Well, I'd just like to be very clear that we need the recognised organisations. We can't do our job properly without the assistance of the ROs. But <clears throat> allied with that, it's very important for us to be able to uh, monitor uh, and work closely with them. I mean, we, we actually have uh, dedicated people who are the li liaison uh, with the various ROs, uh, so, and they're in touch with them just about every day. And we've built up a good relationship, technical expertise on our side and technical expertise on their side. So you have to have complementary skills. It's, it's not good enough from the administration side, as happened in the past, to let, let the class do everything. 